guys, my name is Trevor, and today I will be doing a tutorial on how to install a cruise control mod for 5M. So right now we are looking at the Euro Cruiser or cruise control mod, if you want to call that. So uh, all the links will be down in the description box below. You will need win round for this because it's a round fall. You also need a 5M and the original Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, game. So what we're gonna do now is uh, go to the link down in the description, which I'll include this link uh, so they can download this cruise control mod. So you're gonna click the link. You're gonna if there's any pop-ups here on uh, this link, just exit from that. Just click away on the screen. You don't have to sign in for this or anything. You can just uh, go away from the screen, and after you're gonna click download. So just uh, do direct download, you don't need no thanks continue to download. So you're going to click that and as you can see it has downloaded from me. And now we are going to open that file which I already have. So this is what the file looks like. This is the folder you're going to need WinRAR as I said already. So you can open the folder and then you see two things, readme and the file that you'll need to place in your folders. So first thing you do, always read the README, and if you don't want to say anything, this, like the installation, I'll be teaching you all controls and everything in game. So first we're going to open our 5M directory, so we'll go to 5M open file location, and then we'll go to 5M application data. Then if you don't have a plugins folder, you're going to right click new, new folder, and then going to name the folder plugins. No spaces or capital letters, just plugins. So right now, when if you have a new plugins folder that you just created, you won't see any of this right here. None of this would be in here, but because I have some other plugins already, that's why I have some files here. So what you're gonna do next if you're going to uh, drag the Eurocruise.asi folder down here, which I already have, as you can see right here on my plugins folder. So that's it for the 5M application data folder. Now you're gonna go to your GTA 5 folder. If you don't have, you don't know where that is on your, and uh, if you're using the Steam version for Grand Theft Auto 5, you're gonna go down to Games, Grand Theft Auto 5, and Properties. And going to go down to Local Files, Browse Local Files, and as you can see, this is the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. You can uh, save this on like uh, your desktop, make a desktop shortcut to this directory for future reference if you want. And now what we are going to do is we are going to open back the uh, WinRAR. So next you're going to copy this folder or just drag and drop from WinRAR to down here. So you're going to drag this right down here into the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory which I already done which you can see right here. I already dragged this folder down here. So basically that's it on how to install Cruise Control Mod. In this case I'm using my friend's Cruise Control Mod which I'll link down in the description if you want to download it as I said already. So we're going to close all these tabs and now we're going to go to 5M. Okay, so my 5M game has loaded and we are currently on the Justice Community Roleplay server which is the server I play on as a law enforcement officer and a civilian. So right now I'm going to show you how the cruise control mod works and all the controls. And uh, if you have any questions that I didn't answer in the video, feel free to comment down in the comment section down below because I'll be uh, more than happy to answer those questions. So first things first is you're gonna spawn in a vehicle using Lambda menu. If you don't have Lambda menu, it'll be in the description as well. I have a tutorial on that already, so please check out in the description. I might put it in the card uh, on your top right of your screen if I do remember to. And right now we are going to be uh, first thing is get a land vehicle, and you're gonna press F5 on your keyboard. And as you can see, it's opened up a cruise control menu. So KPH mode, which is uh, kilometers per hour. If you don't know what that is, it's uh, the different uh, unit of measurement for the numbers. Right now it's in miles, so as you can see, 20 miles, 30 miles, and I uh, can ch change it to KPH mode. It will be changed to 40 miles, uh, 40 kilometers per hour, 50, 60, and so on, so forth. So hold speed is uh, is it will hold your speed when you drive. So I use that every time. So uh, if I toggle cruise control right now, as you can see nothing happens on my top uh, bottom right, I should say. So if you put hold speed and toggle cruise, it will start cruising at 25 miles per hour. So as you can see, it has started cruising at 25 miles per hour. 
if I increase the speed using the arrow keys, I can uh, control the menu using the arrow keys. And if I want to select anything, you can press enter. I didn't say that just now. So if you want to control the cruise speed, you just use the right and left arrow keys. And to scroll up and down the menu, you use the up and down arrow keys. To select stuff, you press enter. So to increase our speed, I'll just press uh, the right arrow key. As you can see, it goes faster and faster each time. So it's quite cool because uh, we can go from 80 miles to 20 miles instantly. It's quite unrealistic because I have hold speed on. But if you do press brakes, like the press S on your keyboard to brake, it does stop the cruise control. Uh, or if your vehicle hits something, for example this crash, uh, this crash barrier in front of us, if I do hit it, the vehicle will stop using cruise control. And it's a bit unrealistic sometimes if you use the cruise speed and straight away go to 80 miles. You'll probably get kicked for that on a roleplay server because it's unrealistic. So if you want to be realistic, what I do is I will, when I start at zero, I will go all the way up to where I want to go to. So let's say I want to go to 50 miles. So I'll drive from zero to 50 and when I'm at 50, then I'll select toggle cruise. And toggle cruise will hold your speed down at 50 if you have hold speed on. If you don't, it will not. Uh, it will not hold it. And if you do break, uh, it still works the same way. But if you press toggle cruise, it won't stay at 50 miles. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the description below. Like I said already, if you guys enjoyed this video, do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. me